Hello and thanks for using Supercontrol. So my name is Tom and today I'm going to show you how you can add and edit your login users. So this is going to allow you to set user accounts for all of your staff and indeed anyone else who needs to use your Supercontrol account. And there are multiple levels of access which are detailed in the video and you can even customise exactly what menus the login user can see. So let's get into it. So to access the login users menu you just go to admin and then login users. So you'll see listed here that you've got all of the login users that are associated with the account. So you've got the email here that the user will use to log in. You've got the username which can be pulled through to auto correspondence as a signature. You've got your password here and the password needs to be a minimum of eight characters. It must be updated every 90 days and you'll be sent a reminder within that time period to let you know that your password is due to expire. Your password can't be the same as previous passwords that have been used over the past 12 months. It must contain lowercase, uppercase, numbers and special characters. If you forget your password, on the login screen here, you can just click the forgotten your password link. You type in your username, you go through the capture process and then you can reset your password using the link that's sent to your email. Alternatively, you can contact the support team and they will be able to send you a password reset link. We don't recommend that you get somebody else within your business to change your password for you. So next here you've got your access level. So the differences between these access levels are Super Admin allows you to set up other users and it gives you access to all system functionality available to your license type. The primary user so, for example, the business owner usually is the one with this level of access. Other users could have an admin level of access, which gives them access to all system functionality apart from setting up users. And read-only access level, users can view all of the information within your Supercontrol account without being able to edit it. Next, you can see when the user last logged in. You can see when the password was last changed for that user. And you've also got a login timeout there. So this refers to how many minutes before Super Control will automatically log out if the system has been left idle. And then here you can choose to hide card numbers. So this means that card details of the guest will not be seen by this user if it's set to no. And if it's set to yes, then they can see these card details. And finally, you've got the download database option here too. So if this is set to yes, then it means that this user can download spreadsheets, Excel documents related to statistics and your database there. If you want to add a new user, you just enter their email address in here, a username, you can enter a temporary password, you can choose their access level, set their login timeout, and then you would click add. To edit a user, you just click on edit here and you can edit all of these fields. And if this is your account that you're logged into, you can change your password here too. But only the default user or the super admin will have access to be able to change the level that you have. This is also where you can choose to hide card numbers and to give access to download the database. And when you've finished editing this page, you can just click save. There is also functionality here that allows you to customize what menus this login user can see when they're logged into Super Control. So you'll see a list of menu items here and these refer to the main menu items and if you click into one of these you can choose which of the sub menu items that this login user can see and this is good if you want to restrict the login user from seeing non-essential or secure information. By ensuring that all users are listed on the account, you'll be able to keep a log of the history of each booking with the associated username. So for example, you can track who has made changes within a booking. And the final thing here is just a super control password policy, which gives you a little bit of information about the policy and what we require from a password. And it also explains a little more of what I've been talking about on this video. So now you know how to add and edit your login users so you can go away now and create user accounts for anyone in your company and you'll also be able to restrict access to any information that you don't want them to see so thanks for joining me on this video and we'll see you on the next one